Um, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Cynthia Fregene, reporting on behalf of Tell Nigeria. Today I'm in a church in Cork Island, and I'm so bitter because what they preached about is what Daddy Freeze has been talking about, tight. The African church is beginning to irritate me because there's this thing about imbeding fear into the people so that they cannot ask questions. All that the priest said was, please, can they give us biblical backing to show where, besides Malachi, where everybody's going, that you should go to Malachi chapter 3 from verse 10. That is not what we're saying. That's only Malachi. And that is in the Old Testament. Why did Jesus come if we have to go to the Old Testament? Please, ladies and gentlemen, I would really like to see where the daddy G.O. and other Christians will come forward and show proof to show that it is not only in Malachi. They talk about the tithes. They should also show proof to show that the Bible, talking about the tithes, is saying we should pay tithes every day. I'm going into the church now because it's a little bit cold. So I'm outside and I'm cold. So I'm running in now. Now I'm inside. So I'm going to talk about it now so that everybody will understand. Please, those who know about tithing, please, can you come out and give the biblical backing about this thing called tithes? So that we believe it once and for all. So that we see the anointing. I'm going to show the church now. You see, that's the name of the church. It's called the Redeemed Christian Church of God. It's in Cork Island. I hope you guys can see it. I tried to show the church. Now, what I'm going to say is this. As an individual and as a Christian, I believe there is Jesus Christ. I believe that he came and he died for my sins. My problem is, why do Africans... Blacks all over the world. Why do they enslave fellow blacks emotionally with this thing called Christianity? Why can't we come out as realists? Why are they making blacks more afraid to come out and ask questions? Daddy Freeze only said, Titan is something from the Old Testament. And he explained it, that Titan is supposed to be once a year. And it's from the fruit of the harvest. That's the things people plant. Now the church today, what are they saying? They are saying you should bring one tenth. 10% of your salary. Where in the Bible did people give 10% of their salary? Now, all this guy said is, the Christian pastors, bishops, whatever they call themselves, they should please bring proof to show that this thing is supposed to be like that. That means Titan is biblical. Bring biblical proof. Not uh, Adeboye and uh, Oedepo and the rest coming out and raining curses and saying they curse him. You cannot curse a fellow human being like yourself. You can only bring biblical truth and say also in Exodus, in Genesis, in Revelation, look, Titan is there. You should pay your tithe. Not try to make the people afraid like they are doing here today in this church that I came. Can you imagine the pastor saying, if you don't tithe, you will see what is happening to those people who are not tithing. We happen to you. Those curses on those people who are challenging the men of God, you also be cursed. And come and see the faces of the people inside the church. Of course they are afraid. They were all looking like people terrified. Tomorrow now, if they have something, they will not come out and say it because they are afraid. Why can't blacks accept that knowledge is something that is good? Why can't we be free to come out and give out the truth? Why can't blacks accept that people should also read? Go and read the Bible for yourself. Be liberated from this enslavement, emotional enslavement. Be liberated from this emotional captivity. That we have all grown up into. We were all born into the church as blacks. And we are devils. We are evils. Black people are so wicked. Today the church is full of people who come to worship God. Who are the sinners now? Who are the same people committing all the atrocities? My problem is not about the atrocities. My problem is about tithing today. So I'm going to try and be focused. Please. Anybody who is watching this video, who knows that the G.O. of the Redeem or Oyedepo of Winners Chapel or other pastors, whatever their names might be, who has biblical backing that proves that we should tithe, we should pay money, not the fruit from our harvest. God, that is what Titus was talking in Malaysia. Malachi, sorry. So those who know the Bible very well, better than me, Cynthia Fregene, please come out and give us biblical backing. Don't put fear in people's hearts. Don't make people to become emotionally, emotionally enslaved. Don't make people to feel afraid to speak because that is what they do in churches. You can imagine this guy is saying the curses that come on the people. 
who are challenging the the the, the over general overseer will come upon you if you also don't kite if you also ask questions if you also don't believe he said it's spiritual that uh, you will understand the spiritual things and that if you are not a christian you cannot understand that is bullshit excuse me that is big bull if you have proof biblical proof that shows that titan is biblical beside the book of malachi please bring it out prove it to us let us all see that this titan thing in the bible was said that we should bring money money and 10 percent of our salary me i want to see it all otherwise bullshit to all these preachers who call themselves men of my jesus men of whatever they think they are we are all christians we are all children of god the bible says ye are god every one of you is anointed every one of you is a christian whether you are born by a christian parent or not jesus christ came to die for all of us the minute you confess that jesus christ is your personal lord and savior you are a christian and you are a child of god and ye are gods you have the same anointing like this so-called men of god do not be afraid to challenge them do not be afraid to ask for truth do not be afraid to ask for proof do not be afraid to ask for evidence come out and ask let us be knowledgeable christians let us be knowledgeable africans let us come out boldly and show that we are people who can read why do we go to school why are africans so afraid look at the faces of the people in the church today everybody was like hey, hey, hey. and before you know it they say stand up and give your tithe look at all those cowards standing up with their money they can barely feed themselves hungry people here in ireland who are all in social for crying out loud 90 percent of the people black people living here are in social they have no job the small money that social will give them that we use to help their family they are bringing 10 percent already assuming you were giving a thousand francs uh, euro to help your family you bring 100 to the pastor excuse me excuse me where are our brains i am fed up eh? i say it again i am fed up and i challenge whosoever it is that calls himself a man of god or a pastor please bring biblical backing back it up biblically that this tight thing is biblical that we should bring 10 percent of our money salary earned from the bible if i see that on that day i would believe but until then this is all bs and I am so pained because they are beginning to irritate me. Every church I go into, every man of God I listen to about this title, all they are saying is, I curse you, I curse you. Me too, I curse all of you. Who are you to curse? You people that are full of atrocities. Hey, who is holy among you? Who is holy among all of you men of God? Who among you? If we go to your wives and your husbands to ask about your lives in your home we will be shocked to see, see things that most of us who are not even men of god so-called are not doing in our homes stop the hypocrisy come out and defend this thing called the bible come out and defend this god you call yourself men of god women of god come out and defend your god bring the bible and show us biblically where it says cynthia fregade bring 10 percent of your earnings your salary then i will give you my money otherwise please stop imbedding fear in people Stop making people feel entrapped. Stop making people feel as if this God is a wicked God. God is not a wicked God. If God was a wicked God, he would strike all of you dead. All you people who call yourself men of God. And you live a wayward life. And you live life of making people who call themselves Christian suffer from fear. This is not what Christianity is all about. The church today, what is the church doing to help people? Nothing. Look at this thing called uh, uh, slavery. That they are talking of slavery in Libya. Excuse me, guys. Slavery is in Nigeria. Go to people's homes and see how they enslave fellow people who are working under them. Go to men of God and men of women of God's house and see how they enslave people who work under them. Eh? I am against slavery, whether in Libya or in Nigeria. Let us terminate slavery completely. What I'm saying in essence is tightening. Please, please, everybody who comes across anybody who knows about any verse from the Bible that says we should pay 10%, so I repeat, 10% of what we earn, my salary, 10% of my salary, I will give it. And I will encourage whosoever around me to give it. I am so pained. Thank you for watching. I hope you people learn something today. Read, get educated, get liberated.
Stop depending on people called men of God. Find out yourself. Ciao from me.